Metal Mike coming at you. It's obviously this is the second video of the day and it is December 17th, Monday morning, 19 degrees here in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm over in St. Paul and what I did today is if you see my first video, I'm out doing a little picking, do a little errands. The streets are covered in ice and snow. We're at 19 degrees. It's bitter cold. But we went over to one of my favorite junk shops to come over to, which sometimes I absolutely pull nothing out of. Well, I ended up spending $20, and I'm going to show you what I spent for $20. First off, did a little research, which is wonderful with the iPhones and such, and I always tell you to do that if you can. Uh, looking up items before you purchase them, a lot of the time, you know, you'll see a neat item and you, you look it up on eBay and it's going for exactly what they're asking for it, and even they're a little higher. Well, we looked up a piece today, an old uh, McCoy 29 airplane motor for a model kit airplane. Now, as you can see, it's called the Redhead and it's in the case. Now it's not too bad. Now I've seen one on uh, eBay. It had a hit of 125 bucks. So maybe uh, this can bring that or a little more or even a little bit less. Remember I got 20 bucks into everything. So we got that. Now the thing is is with this guy here is sometimes he will, you have to watch out. A lot of the times this stuff has already gone through the system. Meaning they've already put it on eBay and then when it didn't sell, then they salt and pepper it into the shop. And that's where you come along and you buy the item thinking you're going to go home and make a killer profit. And you don't do anything but bust even. And you're lucky if you do that sometimes. So that's why it's always important to carry your phone with you. Do the research. Take the time. Be cautious. So we spent uh, $20. We got, we got that for 10 bucks. That's not bad. And then what we got is an old marionette. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. At least I believe it to be old. It sure looks old, right? Look at the legs on it. It's all twisted up. That's because I'm holding the strain up here. This is a rather old one. It's some type of composite. It's flaking, but not too bad. But the most important thing is there's no brakes to it, and it's got a unique mechanism up inside there for the mouth working, as you can see. So that's a great piece. We got that along with the McCoy 29, and then I asked if he would throw in these antique shoes which are just ancient 1800s, early 1900s, little child's black leather shoes. How can you not love those? So we got those pieces. We did a little picking, did a little spending. Now the goal would be to get home and get these on eBay ASAP before they get swallowed into the inventory in the tubs and then they're lost forever. So at least that's what I plan on doing. Will they just get absorbed? More than likely because I always like to keep things around for a little bit to fall back on. Remember, these are smalls, so as I get older and I can't sell those old dressers and old pieces of furniture and architectural and get out and hit the alleys, this is what you can fall back on when the arm is hurting, the leg, the calf blows out, back is hurt. These are items that are not going to hurt your back. These are items you can slip in a box and get in the mail and make money on eBay. And that's what it's all about. Metal Mike signing out. Buzzer Junk and Antiques. Remember, if you have any antiques or collectibles or vintage items and they don't have to be collectibles and they don't have to be antiques but if you have a house full of old stuff hoarder etc contact me if you're in the minnesota twin cities area and i'll be glad to help you out i pay well for items and i as well i haul things away for a small fee always reasonable and i guarantee you the old saying i'm always going to fall back on it a stupid man does a job two times and a smart man does it once well i'm the smart man that'll do it one time and get that job done right so remember contact me at any time military items german helmets you know i'll buy it and i'll pay you darn well little mike sign out good luck picking